What is up guys, it is Zach Ploche, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a really useful command in Python. So the command I'm going to show you is with the following example. Let's say that you're new to Python or new to a package and you want to learn something about a string or a data type. So, uh, or any other data type, I should say. Um, so let's say we have a package like, I don't know, requests. And let's also say like we have a string, my string my string equals it can even be empty uh, so what I'm going to show you is first I'm going to show you the function dir so what this does is it shows all of the attributes and methods available on a Python object uh, so for example we can see what type of an object something is by typing type and using the type function on it so if I say type requests it tells us that it's a module if I say type my string it tells us that it's a string uh, now, let's see what happens when we say dir. So if I say str here, or uh, actually, you know what, I can even call it. Uh, or let's say my string as well. So dir and then my string. So it gives us this large list that's not really that pretty or that easy on the eyes. Um, but it does give us a list of every single thing that we can do with it, like capitalize, case fold, um, lower, upper, all of that good stuff, even Z fill and more. Now, uh, that's not very readable. So what you might want to do is say for, um, let's see, attribute in dir, my string, print, print atter. And then boom, you have it in a nice list like this. Now, something that can be even more uh, useful is by doing this, but in a single line. So just to do it fast, you can say print star dir, whatever your variable is. So if I say requests, you can say requests and then say sep equals backslash n and boom. So it's the same result, except it's one short line of code to see everything that you can do with a single um, object. So in this case, we have requests, we can say, uh, request.get, you can say, um, well, you, you can use that one. You can also just say help request as well. Um, but that gives you a bit more of a description and you might just want to see like, uh, well, I mean, yeah, you might want to see like all of the different parts of it. Um, like uh, here, I actually don't even see everything. So yeah, it's pretty useful. So again, print star dir, whatever your data type is, including uh, modules, sep equals backslash n, and, uh, oh, whoops, dir request print name, oh, right, requests. We can use it with something else, like, um, let's say we want to see what date time has available. So from date time, actually, you know what? Let's just import regular date time, because that is a module. So print star dir date time sep equals backslash n and boom so we can we see that we can import date date time i don't even know what date time cappy is nor did i know it existed but now i do date time sys time time delta time zone tz info and uh yeah that's it so uh plus all of these dunder methods which are something even more advanced python that i would love to teach either way that is the basic command so again print star dir whatever your data type is, sep equals backslash n. Um, if you want, technically you could also say sep equals like, I don't know, dash, but I don't think you'll likely want to do that. Uh, so like if I just say a string here, now we have everything connected by a dash. If we say two backslash n's, then we can get it all in double space. So that has to do with knowing how to use the print method and what star dir does. So using star whenever you're printing or um, uh, pretty much in general, it represents unpacking. So like um, if I say my list equals one, two, three, uh, well, not sure that's a good example. Um, but -ba -ba -bum. Okay, forget what I just said. Either way, that's the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And um, yep, bye for now.